Welcome to our postcard from Brentford. Brentford is a town in West London, situated two miles west of Chiswick. It lies at the confluence of the River Brent and the Thames. Brentford is probably best known for its football club, which competes in the Premier League, the highest tier of English football. Having gained promotion via the playoffs at the end of the 2020-21 championship season, Brentford was among the best places to buy a home in London in 2020, according to the London Evening Standard, with a regeneration plan to bring thousands of new homes to the Zone 4 area with fast trains to Waterloo from nearby Kew Bridge. So let's take a look around. This is the site of the 1642 Battle of Brentford. Maybe some of them that were involved in the battle ended up at the county court behind me. It's been 15 years since we've been to Brentford. We used to live in nearby Chiswick and we came down occasionally to go to the Morrisons and it's still here. And back then it was kind of a little bit run down, but there have been improvements because it is one of the most desirable places to live now on the Thames. We can see lots of construction along the way and there are some new shops as well. What do you think of it, Paul? It's one of those places that I've heard about but I don't really remember everything to it because we haven't been here for that many years. So it's interesting to see what this little place has to offer. Now we did mention at the start that there are fast trains into London Waterloo from Kew Bridge but there is another little local station as well. Let's take a look. I think we stumbled upon the Butts Estate, and it's a vast area indeed. St. Paul's Brentford is one of the main attractions in Brentford, and it's one of the most visible ones in this region. And if you don't fancy a visit to church, you can always go to the library. This Fuller's The Beehive is right on the intersection and a really desirable place to go into for a quick pint after work. What are you doing, Marcus? I'm tabling a motion. Please subscribe. Waterman's is West London's leading art centre with independent cinema, theatre and exhibitions. Find cabaret, live music, film and more in their busy programme. The centre includes a 239-seat theatre, a 125-seat cinema, two galleries and two studio spaces. According to its website, the Musical Museum tells the fascinating story of how people have captured and listened to music over the last four centuries. From tiny music boxes to the mighty Wurlitzer Theatre organ in their concert hall, their collection includes an impressive array of instruments and inventions. The collection includes pianos, self-playing violins, pipe organs, gramophones and synthesizers. Find out how music was recorded and reproduced. See and hear them in action. Oh, the train's coming, look.
According to the London Museum of Water and Steam website, discover the story of London's water supply, the site of the former Kew Bridge Waterworks and the amazing pumping engines that helped make London the great city it is today. I know you're not tired of our show right now, so please subscribe to It's Paul and Marcus on YouTube. I think this is lavender. This pinky, this purple thing. <laughs> Well, we finish off with this lovely little walk by the Thames and the Waterman's Park. I don't think it was here before, this new sort no. of garden. It's a really nice green area where the kids can play on their swings and their um, monkey bars or stuff like that. Well, we're going to finish off by looking at an old wreck. No, we're not talking about me. It's the boat that I've just seen over there. We'll see you next time. Bye.